Now, former Transport Minister Dibur Peters continues her testimony this morning at the State Capture Commission of Inquiry. Peters is giving evidence relating to allegations of corruption at the Passenger Rail Agency of South Africa. ENCA's Barry Bateman is following proceedings and he joins us now from our Pretoria studios. Uh, now, Barry Mulefa accused Peters of obstructing uh, the appointment of a permanent process CEO. What was her response? Yeah, uh, good morning, Amazekha. Well, that was uh, Popo Malefe that had accused her of that, and a very serious uh, allegation uh, indeed. Uh, over that particular period, uh, Prasa was incurring billions of rands of uh, irregular expenditure and fruitless and wasteful expenditure. Uh, and uh, even Zondo, uh, Deputy Chief Justice Raymond Zondo, pushing Peters on this particular aspect. Here was an organization uh, that was without a permanent CEO. Um, why was there no urgency to have... Um, this person appointed. Well, it was put to Peters that the board, uh, led by Molefe, had gone through an entire recruitment process, had put together and shortlisted names, uh, and submitted these three names to Peters. The ball was in her court, as Zondo said it. What happened? Well, she denied the allegation that she had frustrated the process. She just said, first off, Prasa wasn't the only uh, SOE or uh, organization that she was seized with as the head or the Minister of Transport. There were 12 entities within uh, her um, uh, that she would have to oversee. Um, and she had to take this to Parliament, and it, not to Parliament rather, to Cabinet, where it would have to go through the processes there. But at the time, they were also running up to the elections, which were in August 2017. She was saying that, well, she couldn't slot in the time to go and see the President. So while she denies that uh, she ever played an active role in frustrating the appointment of a permanent CEO over the two-year tenure that she was there, she does say that, um, you know, she does concede, rather, that it didn't happen under her watch, which is something she regrets. Mm. Barry Peters was also accused of stopping the Vaxman report. Can you tell us exactly what this report was about and how she defended her decision? Well, this was an investigation that looked at various irregularities within uh, Prasa at the time. Um, and uh, it was uh, Molefe that had uh, gone through a process to appoint uh, a Verksmans to come and investigate these particular irregularities. The part where it gets, and this is, was read out to Peters from uh, a, a letter that she had said at the time, in which she indicates that the investigation should come to an end and should any further investigations take place, uh, that, uh, that this would first have to be discussed and based on that. That particular report. Now, Vassoni, the evidence leader, put it to her that his interpretation of this letter uh, that she had sent was quite clear that the investigation should come to a stop. And it was Molefe's allegation that that was what had happened. She had uh, intervened to stop investigations into people who were implicated in wrongdoing. Peter's response to this is uh, no, th this was just an, uh, there were many other investigations at the time, including one by the Auditor General. Uh, there was an internal investigation at the time. And it was just one of the various measures uh, to get an update on the Verksman's report at that particular time. She insists it was not an effort uh, to stop that investigation, or more importantly, it certainly wasn't an intervention to protect people who had been implicated in wrongdoing. Hmm. Barry, the commission now obtaining an extension. What does this mean? Yeah, what had happened, uh, and it was a couple of weeks ago, Deputy Chief Justice Raymond Zonda had told us that he was seeking another three-month extension. Uh, we now know that the High Court has granted him that extension for the period of the commission, but we must be clear. Uh, the leading of evidence is going to finish on the 30th, 31st of March. So the end of next month will be the last time we will hear another witness uh, testifying at the, the hearings. What that three-month extension that was sought by Zondo is for is so that he can sit down and he can compile his report. And if you look at all the evidence presented over the last uh, year, two years or so, you can imagine how thick that is going to be. All right. Let me thank you very much. Let's leave it there. Barry Bateman. Uh,